Hi and welcome. A really brief tutorial to help with three bars of Serenade sur l'eau, the Jacques Hibert ABRSM Grade 6 piece. Um, Gabrielle's working on this and these are three really tricky bars. They're tricky because there's so much parallel movement going on. So I've got three exercises on the advanced side of life, but hey, uh, for you that might help. And uh, first of all, let me play the three bars so we know what's going on. And no pedal, because we want our fingers to do all the hard work, all the leg work. So, sounds like this. So it's that bit. Exercise number one, the notion of scales in parallel thirds. Because this section is difficult because of that. There's thirds, there's some other intervals thrown in as well. But playing two notes together in one hand, and we're going to use lots of fourth and fifth fingers. Ah, it's tricky. Scales and thirds. Now this crops up at grade seven, but hey, let's go for it. So I'm going nice and slowly, being careful to apply quite a bit of weight, arm weight, hand weight, pushing down to the key bed in one swift motion so that the notes are absolutely together. They sounded good, I think. One and two over the top. And another group in the dominant position there, aren't we? Frustratingly, over the top, over the top again. That wasn't. That's a tricky one. I'm going very slowly, listening very carefully to make sure that the notes really are absolutely together, with an even tone on each. There's an apocryphal it's probably a true story about somebody going to visit Rachmaninoff, uh, about to knock on his door and heard piano playing inside, and it was Rachmaninoff playing Chopin's Etude in Thirds, ridiculously difficult piece, and he was going ridiculously slowly, uh, sort of the speed that I'm doing there. Um, and there are other stories of that nature. The, the way to be able to play fast and well is to go really slow. I'm really paying attention to, to what's going on. Are those notes together? Because that's the challenge. Exercise number two. This is a grade eight thing, but hey, and it's parallel chromatic minor third scales. So, <laughs> now the top note will be third and fourth. Lots of thirds and fourths with the odd fifth in the obvious place. And the lower note mainly one and two, I'll show you what that looks like. So there's a fifth finger. Again, am I, another fifth finger, am I together? Pop the thumb there, but at least the top note is legato. Fifth finger, because there's two whites there. Bit of hopping of the thumb notice. Great exercise. Do the same in the left hand. If you want to try and work out the fingering, if you start there, that's going to be a mirror image, isn't it, of what I've just done on the right hand. Let's move on. The third exercise is this. You can hardly wait, can you? Put your hand into a C major position. Okay. C minor. C diminished. through all 12 keys. 
You could even add left hand. Diminished. I'm now going to D flat major. The dominant D flat major is an A flat. hand in it's the drill is for that hand up there but if you want to explore some harmonic things that might be worth doing um, and now let's just slowly work through those three bars just the right hand and to see what's going on okay this is the easy bit okay it's going to get more tricky now and this is a Two and four on those two. It's that last bit was just a straight scale going up, a complicated one, but for sure, but it was. And the last three, that's what I've just been doing, but in A flat major, isn't it? So we've landed at bar 14 there. Now the fingering suggested is five that becomes a four. What's the point in that? Of course, I'm sorry, I was being a bit facetious there. It may well be that your hand size means that you do want to go from five to four, but f for me, there's, there's no value in that. I might as well go straight to four. Holding on to the A natural, and then, and just as we saw in our chromatic scale, sometimes we have to hop the thumb, but I wonder if we can keep at least the top note smooth. And about one more time, then I'm going to leave you to go to your piano. So Swift movement to the key bed. Are my notes absolutely together? Have I got the right fingers? And those three exercises are to help you on your way. Good luck, Gabrielle especially. Bye-bye for now.